All right, let's talk about Woodstock because I feel like this is already turning into a little bit of a mess here. Let's go back on the timeline. Michael Lang inducted into the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. While he's doing red carpet, he mentions, oh, yeah, we're planning on doing something for the 50th anniversary of the original Woodstock in 69 here in 2019. That was step number one. Over the Christmas break, I was out. I hear this story. I start reading the articles. I get upset. Everybody else seems to be super excited. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? More details on the 50th anniversary of the Woodstock concert. That was what the headlines were like. Here's, you know, here's the dates, blah, blah, blah. You go look at it and read it. And this is why I got upset. It's not Michael Lang. It's Live Nation. So I was like ready to kill Live Nation on this one. I'm like, that's horrific. How can they hide? It appeared to me at first glance that they were trying to hijack the Woodstock Festival from Mike Lang. It's kind of not the case because what's really happening here is Bethel Woods Center for the Arts, which is on the, it's, that's where the original Woodstock was. You know, that's a non-for-profit organization. They do concerts up there, uh, a lot of educational stuff, a lot of great stuff. Any non-for-profit, you know, it, it's hard to get on their case. They all do such a great job. Um, they were the ones who sort of started this uh, idea of doing a 50th anniversary concert. They brought in Live Nation, from what I understand. Now, I could be wrong about this, but either way, whoever brought in who, it doesn't even really matter. The point is, is Live Nation and Bethel Woods planned on doing something and announced a lot of information. Michael Lang is over here, also planning on doing something, has yet to announce practically anything, dates or anything. And I sit back and I look at this as a music fan and I go, now we're going to have two Woodstock 50th anniversary celebrations? Like, this isn't right. Because at the end of the day, what stinks about this is the music fans, us, we're going to be the ones that are going to have to make a choice here. And that stinks. You know, it was like uh, the Beach Boys, right? Here, you know, we just had two Beach Boys Christmas concerts. We had Mike Love and the Beach Boys, and we had Brian Wilson and his Christmas show. They were like five days apart right here on Long Island. Like it was, in, you know, like I get they both deserve their own things. And I understand the split and how it, it all. But at the end of the day, it still stinks because if you're a Beach Boys fan and you wanted to hear Christmas music, you had to decide between the two. If you went to both, bless your heart and your wallet because it cost you a, you know, a pretty penny. And imagine what this is going to run you. You got to get hotel and accommodations, even if you're camping, it's still going to run you some money. What do you think a ticket price is going to be for this thing? It's going to be through the roof. It's going to be crazy. Uh, airfare for some people that aren't in the area here, you know. I mean, it's going to be nuts. It's really going to be nuts. Now, I thought, oh, Michael Lang is going to be upset, and he's probably going to be, you know, ready to rip everybody a new one, blah, 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 this and that. Nope. As it turns out, according to the Poughkeepsie Journal... Uh, they asked him about it and he says, and I quote here, I'm delighted that Bethel Woods is doing events in the coming year to celebrate what we brought to life in 1969. And I encourage people to visit the museum and concert venue. So he's not even pissed. So I can't be upset, but still it bugs me a little that it's like, we are forced to make a decision here. Now, I don't know if Michael Lang at the time of this, you know, article from the Poughkeepsie Journal knew the, you know, the, the size of what they're planning on doing, but they've partnered with Live Nation, so it's not like it's going to be a tiny little thing. I also don't know why Mike Lang didn't want to do this at Bethel Woods. Like, didn't want to do this at the original site, because he's not doing it at the original site. He said that long ago. I don't know why that's happening. And there's not a lot of original artists left. You know, you have Joan Baez, you have The Who, uh, Roger and Pete, you have uh, CSN. I mean, there's not a, a lot of the original artists left that performed at the original. What are you going to do there? Are they going to split their time? Like, who, if you're Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey, who do you show loyalty to Bethel Woods and the original site or Michael Lang. Like artists are going to be able, are going to be forced to choose. 
And if you're an artist that deals with Live Nation to begin with, well, you know, who are you going to choose? Michael Lang puts on a show once every 25 years. Live Nation is the premier concert promoter in the land with you know, along with AEG and some of the other big boys in the block. I mean, it's just, it seems like this comes out to be a terrible situation for the music fan. Now, this is speculation. I, I don't know. It, maybe it'll all turn out to be all, all uh, you know, roses and chocolates. I'm not sure. But, you know, at the original sight of this, it doesn't look great to me. Um, and I also feel like Michael Lang is losing. To this point, because the Bethel Woods and Live Nation folks have announced dates, August 16th to the 18th. There's a big write up in uh, Billboard magazine where they cite an article from the Times Herald Record of Middletown, which is up in New York, upstate New York, where they say that many motels, bed and breakfasts and Airbnb rentals are already sold out in Sullivan County uh, during August 16th to the 18th. So, I mean, to me, if you're looking at this from a standpoint Michael Lang mentioned he wanted to do something. Live Nation and Bethel Woods have announced a date. They have the location already. Um, you know, they've already said this is going to be a pan-generational event, so they're going to have, uh, I would assume, some of the original artists or at least artists around that time. Uh, they're going to have new artists. Uh, they're going to have talks and discussions and films. It's going to be the whole... It's going to be a whole uh, festival. It's going to be a whole little South by Southwest thing. And you look at the Michael Lang side of this, and, you're, and all you have is a couple of quotes about what he wants to do. I mean, I'm not here to tell Michael Lang to fold up shop, but at this point, he, he's losing in the game. And it might be the prudent thing to do for music fans and the whole thing all together to be like, look, I'll just join their thing and I'll make sure we, you know, because you want his stamp on it. You want you, you want the original guy to be a part of it. You know? W what does this look like if, you know, you got to decide between, uh, you know, what does this look like if the who goes to one and, I don't know, Bruce goes to the other or Paul McCartney? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just it's just going to be a sucky choice to make for music fans. That stinks. There's no fun in that. There should be one. There should be one. Now, I know, like, look, and believe me, in every town across the country, they're all going to do their own little thing, and they'll have some, you know, maybe some towns will have better artists. I'm sure there'll be something in Manhattan. I, I'm sure there's going to be a, a vast array of celebrations for the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. But as far as being in that spot, being in upstate New York, you know, doing Woodstock the way the first Woodstock was done, not technically in the town of Woodstock, uh, you know that, that that's a that's a one that's a one time special thing. It should be there, and that's it. We saw Woodstock return in ninety four. We saw it come back in ninety nine. Those festivals weren't going up against rival festivals down the road a week later. You know what I mean? I just I can't see how this turns out great for anybody that's a fan of this that's looking forward to this. That ha only has eight hundred bucks to spend on these things. Like you're somebody's, you're gonna have to make a choice at some point. You're gonna have to make a choice, and that stinks. I really wish these two entities can get themselves together, but I don't know. This could all change, but as of right now, you look at this and you go, "Wow, Michael Lang is trailing. These guys are far ahead of the game. There's already space limited, you know, for the sixteenth to the eighteenth of August." I just, I don't see how you can announce something. Like, for, you got to be first to the to the thing with these. You got to be first to the public with these things. You know? Now look, if Michael Lang comes back and he goes, hey, I got Joan, I got the who, and guess what? CSNY is going to be uniting at, uh, reuniting at Woodstock. Then, all right, then he's back in the mix. And then he's got something cooking. But until that moment comes, uh, as of right now, it doesn't look good for Michael Lang. Also, if you can get CSNY together in the same room, that'd be amazing. Also, if those guys who do nothing but fight with each other were going to do anything together at any point, it would be this festival. It would be this anniversary. What else could you bring to Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young that would be so epic other than a Woodstock 50th anniversary celebration? There is nothing.
There is nothing. And who gets dead and company? Are they going to golf? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because if I know Live Nation, they're, they're going to sign up artists and they're not going to let them play the other one. Or maybe in the interest of peace and love, they will. Who knows? Perhaps I'm being too pessimistic for early 2019. I'm not sure. But that's an update on what you have here on this uh, morning show with Anthony Vlog for Woodstock so far. We are, of course, going to be tracking the progress of this show, uh, these two shows, and who gets booked, where, and when. Uh, so as always, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the vlog. If you made it all the way through, make sure you're subscribed. You can get future shows. Make sure you're checking WEHM.com on a daily basis. We put all our vlogs up there, as well as our morning show with Anthony podcast, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff, our 2018 year in review, some of the best albums of 2018 that we thought, just not me. The other personalities here at EHM, that is also up at WEHM.com. Make sure you guys are checking that often. And we also give away a ton of awesome stuff here. A lot of uh, Long Island and New York City stuff, of course. Um, but I know we have a lot of people watching the vlog from all over the place, so you could uh, win some free stuff as well at WEHM.com. So go ahead and check that out. Sorry we were away for so long because of the holiday break. We're back. We'll be back daily uh, starting from today. So I hope to see you guys here every day on the morning show with Anthony Vlog.